Hello and welcome to another video update for the Belmont Middle and High School Building Committee. I am Diane Miller, member of the committee. I'm here today with Emma Thurston, another committee member, and with our chair, Bill Lavallo. And today we are standing in the auditorium of the new building and we're very excited to talk with you about this cool space and all of the great programming that is happening in here. I uh, want to start off with a shout out to our fantastic uh, Director of Performing Arts, Arto Asadorian, uh, who runs a fantastic program here. And um, I think, Emma, do you want to maybe first tell us a little bit about the types of programming happening yeah, in this absolutely. space? absolutely. So as you mentioned, we have an amazing performing arts department here. Um, you know, it serves over 200 kids in the high school with about a dozen different programs. They have, you know, actual classes. They have after school. They have different performing, you know, large orchestras and bands and small. You know, everybody's seen the marching band and, and of course, musicals. We have musical plays here all, all, all the time. And then next year we'll be accommodating the seventh and eighth grade. So that's gonna add another 100, 150 kids to the program, which is really amazing. I mean, they do a fantastic job and it's great that we have this, this facility that now mm. matches that, that level of talent. And yeah. I feel like the performing arts programs are something that Belmont has for many years been known for, right? Our school Absolutely. has just phenomenal programming. So a lot yeah. of kids are involved in it in a lot of different capacities. And yeah. it's great that we have this beautiful space for them. So let's talk a little bit about the features of this well, new space. You bring up, you know, the program early on envisioning when we had, uh, I don't know, a, a half a dozen to eight or 10 visioning sessions, we had uh, multiple people come out to tell us how important uh, the auditorium space was and what it needed to have to be a state of the art facility for the next 50 years. The, the, the facility we had in the high school, and actually there were two, the little theater and, and the big auditorium uh, was dated and it had some challenges. Uh, the old seats, if you're a member. Mm, uh, long, very squeaky. Where, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so it, but it was probably good when it was opened in the 70s. You know? so, um, so we now have a, a state-of-the-art facility uh, that is phenomenal when you look through here. And it's, uh, the input from the community was just phenomenal through the whole process. You know, we, we are standing on the uh, orchestra pit, uh, yeah. floor, the, the temporary floor, the pit is below us. Uh, we have a full stage that is the same size as our other stage, which is larger than what you'd normally get for a high, high school, school, but we had such a program that the state uh, supported that. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, great features within here. We have seats that don't squeak anymore, very comfortable, ample leg room, perfect sight lines, yeah. every seat in the house. Yeah. And yeah. wonderful acoustics too, it, everywhere it's great in the house. In here. Yeah, yeah you so think lovely. it's you think it's smaller, but actually it's the exact same volume. So you talk about acoustics. Yep. Uh, that's what you need is volume. But we brought uh, everyone to uh, the stage, so it, we are, it's a more intimate relationship between the performers and the audience, which I think is a phenomenal uh, experience for both the performers and the audience. Yeah, and I think a lot of state of the art um, design thought went into the design of this space and it really is a professional level, professional caliber space, which is great to have that. Um, can we talk a little bit about the other features that we have, like the behind the scenes, behind the stage um, aspects of this space? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing looking back here um, at the stage itself, as Bill mentioned, it's the same size as the stage before. It feels larger, but it's, it's so accommodating to everything. We put on huge productions and, and we have such high participation, it's amazing. We have a full fly back here that supports the amazing theater program. We have a control booth in the back with like a fantastic sound system. If you're coming in this building, it sounds amazing. This room sounds incredible. We have such high levels of talent on stage, you wanna hear it. Mm. You need to hear it, it needs to have that level of sound in the sound booth does that for us. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that personally I'm most proud of in this whole building, I think I speak for the committee, is the accessibility portion of it. Yes. So if there's a student that uses a wheelchair, they can get into the sound booth, they can oh, get upstairs. Yeah. Our audience can get to the, to the balcony. Mm -hmm. um, the catwalk is accessible. The whole space is accessible to all, which I think is really incredible. I'm so proud of that. Yeah, that's great. Um, and you had mentioned the orchestra pit a moment ago. 
a, a lot, lot of passion, of, a yeah. lot of passion, a lot of conversations, a lot of research yep. went into the question of what is an orchestra pit? Do we need an orchestra pit? We did not have one at our... How about what's appropriate for a high school, right? What's right? appropriate, yeah. right? And we did not have one. And there were issues with not having it, um, such as the fact that if you're sitting in the front row, you're kind of blasted yep. by the sound. And also your view was obstructed. And we had a limited amount of space for the orchestra. Um, so limited amount of kids that could participate. Um, so we did a lot of research. Emma, I know you were I involved in so that. I visited so many schools. It was great. I got to see what other high schools were doing, um, whether they were built five years ago or whether they were in the process of being built. So we really got to figure out what was standard, what, what was mm -hmm. norm right now for building you know, an appropriate orchestra pit. Was it appropriate? And, you know, we found out it was. It was pretty standard in the high schools. And as a musician myself, I've, I've been lucky enough to sit in, in with Belmont's um, orchestra pit during a... Uh, uh, it's a little shop of horrors, I think. And it's such a great experience to be part of that and be playing the music. But as you mentioned, the sight lines are a problem, right? So when you're sitting here and there isn't an orchestra pit, you kind of feel like you're like, oh, sorry, I'm in the way. And, and you know, you're blasting people with sound. And those are sold tickets. Right. Those are paid seats that we have to block, block, block off to make sure that, you know, you're not, you, people can actually hear what's going on everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so be, to be able to have our students feel like they're not in the way, but they're part of the performance in the pit. It's 27, mm -hmm. 27 inches deep. Yes. It's very flexible. We've got removable floors. You know, I think that we made really great decisions about accommodating what we need and doing mm -hmm. it in what I think is a very cost-effective way. And also uh, ramp accessibility yes. for the pit yeah. as well, and, again, everywhere. And what, 80% of the time you're not using it when, with all the other functions going on. Yeah. So we have a, a false floor or a floor that comes in and out for it. It's it's uh, not automatic. People said, oh, why don't you put one? I go, <laughs> yeah. we, no, we're not doing that. But then we also put the rails up and uh, it's really a, a flexible space. So it is. it's a wonderful addition to this to this program. I'm so happy we were able to accommodate it within yeah, our budget. I am too. It's, yeah. I'm thrilled with that. Yeah. yeah. And so there are, as you said, other opportunities, other uses of the space where we don't necessarily need it. It is nice that we have, because that was one of the options, right, was that it would be a permanent pit that would always be there. And it is nice that we have this floor here right now. And there are um, so many different ways that we're using this auditorium. It's so heavily used. Um, we even had a hard time figuring out when we could get in here for a few minutes for this conversation, <laughs> right? Because of all the scheduling and programming. Um, but I think it would be nice for us to also talk about that in the context of what other uses besides this performing arts programming, um, what other uses in the town well, do we have for this space? We want to make it clear that this is the town asset. Mm -hmm. not just a school, um, but it isn't being used as far as I know outside of, of town. So it's, you know, we have, as you said, the middle school coming in, yep. adding to the program. We have the potentially town meeting, you know, a lot of other variety of things that the town needs a space. It seats 700, just like the other space. Uh, so it, it has the, probably the largest space to accommodate a group in the town of Belmont. Mm -hmm. uh, so I expect that it'll be, it's widely used, uh, but it also uh, comes with uh, the support behind yes. it, and we should talk about that because it's more, this, this building is more than just the auditorium. Absolutely. Right, I mean, it's a fan, fantastic entry, right? You come in the main door to the building and we have the beautiful lobby, we have a reception desk like there. Pre-function, right? We have a pre-function space, we have the space. elevator is convenient. Bathrooms, how about the bathrooms right outside? So all the, all the amenities you need to really run a function of any type mm -hmm. with this, yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, and then, the only other thing I can think of to talk about today with you folks is uh, other spaces, such as the Black Box Theater, and you had mentioned sort of the band rooms and orchestra rooms. Well, before rehearsal. we even get there, we have uh, right outside, we have the, the scene shop, yeah. mm, right? right. Uh, State-of-the-art scene shop. The dressing room, which yep. is kind of cool. I've never been in a dressing room, but it's, you know, it's got all the mirrors and the, the places to, to change and so forth. Then you move into uh, the other spaces for, for practicing and performing the band rooms. The orchestra room, which is phenomenal. Uh, what else do we have? Ensemble spaces. Yeah. All of them are acoustically. You go in there and you, it, it's just so quiet. Yeah. Mm. Have you, you seen the anything in the black box theater yet, Bill? I have, and it's, it's a phenomenal it's space. It's such a great space. It's so flexible, flexible. Um, yeah. and it sounds amazing, and the kids, it's in use all the time. And I why do they call it black time. box? Uh, because it's it is a black box. It, it's, it literally is <laughs> just a black, black box, and it, you it could set it up for anything. Anything you can. We've I've seen musical performances in there. Mm. I've seen improv performances with theater, um, and they use it for gathering space. Mm. Just a practice. Just assemblies. practice. Practice. Spaces, yeah. assemblies. It's just mm -hmm. there's so many flexible spaces for all of the students in the performing arts program to use here, and uh, it's just great. It supports the program so well. I am so proud of this project, and this is one of the pinnacles of the project, is just to be able to give our, as you said, the wonderful performing 
arts of, of, of Belmont, having these uh, types of spaces to just propel them mm. even further they've gone. Yeah. So um, I, I can't wait for, for others that. to see this, to come to programs like you're saying, to really experience what Belmont has to offer mm -hmm. in a new state-of-the-art facility. Yes. And it's December. There's so many things going on in here in December that you get to come. The community can come and see so many performances. Now. It's easy. It's, it's, it's easy. It's so easy. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much. And thank you, our audience, for tuning in. We look forward to talking with you again soon about another aspect of the Belmont Middle and High School building. Thank you.